Hi everyone, welcome back to another bit of code prime. In this video, we are going to learn this CSS pseudo class. So we are going to explain that CSS pseudo class and everything and inside of this month mode property also available here. Inside of this pseudo class, we are going to using first of all the identifier. We are going to explain that identifier is is basically identified by single clone or double clone. You can identify by using both of them. Then we are going to explain that layer, how it can be access of this background layer or anything else. Layer to layer in the background and the outer layer, everything how we can access in pseudo class. Then we are going to using that before and after users in pseudo classes. Then we are going to using that numbering, how we can numbering and accessing of any element or on whatever. We are going to using that linear gradient or anything and the background and layer and anything else we can using in the number of selecting in pseudo classes. So let's start this video right now here. Okay, here you can see I've opened my VS Code Student. Here you can see I've added basic HTML file. And I have added some CSS for this body and we have write some linear gradient background color and we have made some another CSS that is which we can use for to how to center a div. So this is basic CSS and we're going to be watching this live preview open with live server and we're going to be watching this preview on this browser and you can see this live preview here. So now we're going to be using that first of all this identifier that how we can identify using in your pseudo classes. So here first of all this is identify basically not hashtag identifier it's pseudo class identifier pseudo class basically identify by by the single clone or double clone so first of all let me add some button here so here i'm writing some text about it so let me writing it code prime and it is one so here i'm just making this copy this line of code i'm just making this fourth time and save this file you can see it was looking like this so here i need to make some another thing in this css so that we can make them easily that is in making the column here so here i'm writing that is flex direction and it is column now save this you can see it is looking like this so now we're going to take some this tag from here and we're going to set some css for this button also here now let's write some css so here i'm writing first of all padding here i'm going to make it 10 pixel and 20 pixel so that this can be increased that padding and the font sizes so it will be 2rm and save this file you can see it was looking like this now set some margin from it from the both sides so i'm going to making this top and bottom 10 pixel and left right right is 0 and you can see it was looking like this so this is we have completed that basic or html so now we're going to accessing using that pseudo class identifier so here i'm just taking some spaces over here in this style file so here we can just taking here this the button here first of all so here let me take it so here this button and this is identified basically using that this is the single clone or you can use the double clone this is basically using for this the pseudo classes this is identifier so you can use this identifier so now we're going to explain that the layer and before and after again so layer and before after it will be in one places here so i'm just taking it a before property so here I'm just taking the before. So there in this we can access this before and after using we can access the background of this layer about this button here. So now here I'm just taking it so but this whenever we are going to the pseudo classes and before after so it was must be need to position absolute because we if we don't position absolute then it will be not work with this because by this this property this button this is position by default it is default it was position relative. So anyway we're going to explain some another layer we are going to import one layer and after one layer so it must be into position absolute otherwise position absolute it will be not work for this before pseudo classes but if you want to explain this position relative it will work for the z index but this is another thing but this is the pseudo classes this is another part of css so here i'm just going to making some here so first of all let me add a position and it is absolute then we are going to add a content boxes so this is the content boxes and which is actually okay let me write i have written some wrong so let me write it content box so it is content box and it was accessing the layer so background layer which we are going to explain expressing that we see are going to using the background layer so first of all here i'm just going to make it a content so i'm leaving it blank using the single clone so that it will be access this our background of this layer but whenever we're going to using some any text inside of the double creation this will be flow it and this will be become a visible inside of this button and it will be from the center of this layer so now here i'm just going to add a background color so let me add a background color and it is red 
and save this file there is nothing working because we have already a by default a background color so i'm just making it a forcing property that is important and save this file still there is nothing showing here because we haven't set up any padding or widgets and height so let me show you an example with here is i'm going to make it 100 pixel and also the height also the same so here i just need to remove this width from here and make it height and save this file now you can see it was pop up here but because of this we have made so much of width height so that's why it was going to like this so here let me make it 20 pixel and save this you can see now it was working here so you can see this was totally working from the back inside it of the inside of this layer this is a background layer from the button body board and here this is in the top layer there is which is in inside of it a layer is available this is we can actually we can take also the padding also simply so i'm writing the 10 pixels. okay let me remove this okay i can make it maybe i can make it just i am just leaving it here and i just making it comment so that is can you can use it for practicing in whenever i'm sharing this code of the source code into my website also so here let me write the padding here so it is 10 pixel and 20 pixel i'm writing the same padding now save this file there is nothing showing padding will be work whenever we have this something text inside of it so here i'm just writing here this our text boxes in the content so here i'm writing some text set so here i'm writing that is code prime and here i'm writing this code prime not one i'm writing code priding okay let me writing here code prime sudo and save this file now you can see this text was background it was working so this is okay let me write in here so i'm writing here this layer it will be good and save this so it is working for the both of this because we have connect connected this is the button only and this was working for the before and the same also the way you can set this some your after also so it's just you need to replace it before to after here so i'm just making it come copy and paste it here because i'm not going to remove in anything from here just i'm making that and comment here and whenever you are going to practice in using your source code then you can just make it uncomment and use that practice so here i'm just removing here from to before to after here and save this file now you can see there is nothing was working here there, there is nothing working. so this is the reason about this whenever you are going to using that before and after so here we just need to make it a padding okay let me write it the padding here simply it was not writing now save this file okay we have already learned this identifier layer and also we have used the before in layer property now we are going to explain that much more in depth little before and after because it's very important property because this is very most uses in css design sheet on css website and for making some creative designing so before and after is very important so here i'm going to make some another thing for doing some better understanding about it so here you can say i've added already a p-tag so i'm just making it uncomment and just save this file it was looking like this so here i have cmcss for video also so i'm just making it uncomment and save this file now it was looking like this so before is working for this the first line of this before is not only this start and this after not only end so it is working actually this first line the before is means the first line and this after it means the last line of this which is we have this in using the property the content there is this will be the starting line and this is the last line so this is before and after is basically so now we're going to make some practical about it so here we have this p tag so i'm just writing here this p tag here and then we're writing here this before and inside of it we're going to open this curly braces and here the content boxes so this is actually the content boxes and this is the property about in css that we see where we're going to writing any text or images or anything else you want to add using the before and after property so then the content this property is working for to implement that text or image inside of this where you want to show it so i'm writing here this the for the before one so i'm writing this is actually this start and then and here i'm writing a background also so it is red and i'm changing that color also the text color it is it is hashtag ff and let me add a padding also so that this can be visible so i'm writing this 3 pixel and let's add a margin also here so margin i'm going to add it uh, from this top and bottom it will be auto here by this line alignment so then auto and this from the left and right i'm just going to make it a 4 pixel and adding a border radius also 
so border radius i'm just using this four pixel and save this file now you can see there is a start is showing on the line of the first of it started here so this way you can use the before property so it means the before is working for the first line of css and first line of content about this where you are going to using that content there you can see there's total three line of this content about here the text but when you're going to using the before it will be implement in the first line of this content so now when you are going to using that this for after so i'm just copying this line of css and here i'm just going to implement instead of before it is after and here instead of the start i'm just going to make it the end and i'm just going to change the background here also it is green and save this file now you can see this after effect this end was working at the last line this is actually the basic uses for the before and after when the before is working for the first line and after is working for the last line so this is how we can actually understand the before and after completely now we're going to be starting for this numbering of in this pseudo classes now we're going to using that pseudo classes numbering here so there you can see i have a totally there is four button so i'm going to using that this first button second third and fourth so we're going to using that first of all which is the identify the general numbering without numbering it was the meaning of this number like the first uh, first second and third and fourth like this so here i'm just copying this button from here uh we can take this easily here i'm just taking this both line of css we can take it from here simply now here i'm just pasting it line here again so here i'm just going to this fast button so here now we need to add the pseudo classes and then i'm writing this fast child so here it is first child okay first lineup later also you can explain here some much more but we are going to be using that first child okay first child okay now here we are going to writing this first child so it is first and child so it means it was this all of our children property because we have the background the parent property is body section so this is our children property so you can take them actually as a child so this is our first child so it was the numbering of the first second third like using we are going to using it like this so here i'm writing this background simply so background it is red and we are going to make it important so that it will be post to that by default it was have this white color so i'm just using the by default the semicolon that is important okay it is important and save this file now you can see the background was implemented the background is black so it was red color the background is implemented and if we make it the color changing also so here i'm writing this color it is hashtag ff and save this file you can see the background this text color also was changes so this is actually the first side second side we can take this so if we make it here instead of first it is second side so we can write it easily Okay, for the second side third side it was different but this way actually this using this simple of this english of this the first side second side but the second side it was not work like this way it was working for the first and the last so here instead of first i'm writing here the last child so it is the last child and save this file so here we are going to explain okay when you are using this last child it will not work because it's not a child it's the end of it so here instead of child we need to like write this last of type and save this file and you can see it was working this last one so this is actually the first and last we can take it so now here we're going to this using this another one that is so i'm just copying this and making it this comment now here explain that another one so i'm just taking some spaces from here and just pasting it so i'm just removing this total of this last of type and the saving this so we can back to this in the previous line so here i'm using that empty child so we can using that numbering here right now so here this is the numbering we're going to using it so here is a button and here is it is empty okay let me remove one so it is empty child and here you can see a bracket a parenthesis here it's what open a boxes here so you can write the value that which button we are going to access in here so if we write this one save this it was working for the access one and just taking here this three fourth it will access the fourth number of the button and accessing for this two and it will access the second line second button so this is actually you can use that numbering is that how you can connect this numbering of this pseudo classes using 
the pseudo class is single or double clone you can use both of them so here this is the complete videos about the pseudo classes identifier layer before after and numbering on pseudo classes so complete pseudo classes tutorial about it so if you need any inquiry about this tutorial or if you need any inquiry about the pseudo classes anything else so you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video please like on it and share it with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any update from us Thank you.